and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Alright, so in between episodes, I put my party together. I also did a few clan battles just because I accidentally got into a few and decided to actually do them to get the AP. Anyways, let's take a look at everyone. So Marche here, actually in between episodes, because of one of the clan battles I did, he actually mastered Kier. So now he knows one white magic and one black magic. So now we can actually switch him over to actually a bunch of things, but we're going to switch him over to Blue Mage now. So, Blue Mages. Blue Mages are basically mages that learn the skills of enemies once they're hit by them. They have to be hit by them in order to learn them, though. That's important. So anyways, I also managed to get myself some equipment for him. So the Blue Saber is actually the most important thing that we need to get a Blue Mage, because it teaches them the skill of learning. We cannot learn Blue Magic without that equipped. So if we get hit by attack and we don't have learning equipped, we won't learn the ability. It sucks, but we need to make sure we have that equipped at all times. Also, which one of these will give me more defense? Okay, yeah, we'll get the uh, chain plate on then. Let's see, get some boots on. We can't learn anything from this yet. Nope. I know there's something here that we blue mages can learn something from. Could have sworn there was some piece of equipment I had that could teach him something. Eh, guess not. Nope. Okay, whatever. I'm sure there's something in the shop. Anyways, Mont Blanc is still a thief. He's still trying to learn skill accessory, I believe. Yep, he's actually getting relatively close. One more battle and he should have it. Okay. Ogan here used to be our soldier, but I turned him into an archer for now. Because I want him to become a hunter. Because hunters are fun and they are basically bow experts. So yep, he's going to be using bows for a while. I might switch him over to thief and ninja afterwards, but we'll see. No one here is a black mage. He's going to be our main magic attacker. For now, at least. My main goal with him is to turn him into an alchemist, because I've never used one before and they look like fun. So yeah, for now he's going to be our magic attacker, but eventually he'll become our support character. And at some point I might switch him over to Beastmaster, now that Marche is a uh, blue mage. Because it might be important for him to start learning some abilities to control monsters. There are some abilities that, only, that blue mages can only learn if a Beastmaster is with you. Because there are certain attacks that they just will not use on your party members. Cheetah here is a warrior. He used to be a gladiator, but I started to switch him back to warrior to learn some skills. I want him to turn into a dragoon, because dragoons are awesome, even if they die to AoE circles all the time. And Lisa here is new. She replaced Norma. She's our white mage for now, so she's going to be our main healer. Uh, she is basically going to be here for a while until we get to late game. I'm going to turn her into a summoner. Because summoners are awesome, and then she's going to turn into basically our magic attacker. Yeah, summoners are awesome and so are, uh, assassins. Honestly, all of Vera's, like, endgame jobs are awesome. Anyways, I need to switch a few accessories or, or weapons around real quick. Because, yeah, now that you're done learning Cure, I'm going to switch you over to Protect. Let me see here. You can actually start learning Thundara. Actually, yeah, it's Thundara, right? Yep. Okay. Also, Nellan could also turn into an Illusionist if I decide to go that route. I'm not sure yet. Alright, but everyone should be equipped and all their skills should be in order. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait. Before I forget, I kind of want you to hang on to white magic just as a backup or a backup healer for now. Actually, no, black magic is probably better. We already have plenty of ways to cure ourselves. Yeah, we're fine. Also, we need to remember to do this. Equip learning. We want learning on him at all times just so that he can learn attacks in case he gets hit by them. Okay. But yep, that's our main team for now. Let's do some missions before we move on with the main story. So what do we got here? Okay, so yeah, since the month changed, unfortunately all the dispatch missions went away. They'll be back eventually. So what do we got? Wanted. Alright, we can hunt down a black mage. We'll take that. I'm just gonna take all these missions. Uh, frosty mage. There's a bad wizard up in the mountains that we need to take care of. Okay, we'll go take care of him then. There's no timeline for this one, right? Nope. And then Professor in Trouble. Uh, ooh, this one's a rank 4 mission, actually. That might be a bit tough for us. I'll pick it up. Oh, whoa. I'll pick it up because there's no limit for it, but yeah. We're probably not going to be doing that one for a little while. Oh, it's only available for 25 days, though. And we'll hang on to it. We have the money. And then, yep, this is our main story mission. We're not going to do this one quite yet. It'll always be here. Okay, so I guess we're heading up to the mountains then. 
Here, before we go, I do want to do a bit of shopping now that we have some money again. Is there anything good that I could grab for people? Iron armor might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's grab a piece of iron armor for my warrior, probably. Ooh. Yeah, let's grab a survive. Ooh, wait, yeah, there it is, immunity. I felt- oh wait, can we equip that at the same time as... Learning? It's a support skill. I don't think we can. Well, either way, we don't have the money for it. Okay. I'll wait before grabbing a shield. Here, okay, let's grab some gauntlets. Okay, that's all our money. Also, let me just make sure that everyone's equipped properly. Marche honestly can probably go without, like, good equipment. Let's give it to some of the more fragile people. Also, wait, why are you not equipped with a shield? You are a warrior. Oh, it's because you have a two-headed sword. Never mind, that makes sense. Here, let's, uh, give you the gauntlets. Okay. We should be good now. Let's go. Time to do our first mission with the new team. Let's go take care of a frosty, frosty mage. Ooh, we got some monsters here. I think we might be able to start learning some skills. I forget if we... I think we can learn some skills from all these people. What's against the law right now? Great. I just taught my black mage Thundara and he can't use it. Alright, fine. We'll throw fire around then. So Marche's main job right now is to go out front and just get hit by everything. Actually, that's gonna be his main job anytime there are monsters around for the most part. We can field everyone, right? Yep, we can field everyone. There are some missions that will only let you field three or four. But this is not one of them. Alright, let's go. Hi there! You look... nice. Wait, seriously? That's... We're not stopping him because of his weirdly evil experiments. We're stopping him because he's blocking traffic. So yeah, the main goal of this mission is to actually destroy those two orb things behind him. It's not to actually defeat the boss. But yeah, I think we might be able to actually learn things from all these monsters. Okay, let me take a look at them real quick. I also should probably pull up an actual list of blue magic I can learn. Yeah, I think we can learn Stare from this guy. And I think you have a skill too that we can learn. I- oh wait, I don't think we can learn Rake. I'm not sure if we can learn Rake, whatever. Alright, let's do this. You can't do anything right now, so just stay in the back. Actually, we probably could have cast a Protect just for the experience. But man, I need to remember, don't use my good spell. I want to use it so badly, but don't. I don't want a yellow card. We can't really afford it at the moment. We kind of need all the money we can get, so let's try to not get fined. Because that's what happens if you break the law the first time. You get fined. And if you break it again, you go to jail, and then we have to pay to get you out. Alright, Marche. Get out there. I wish there was a taunt ability, though. Also, yeah, blue mages, just in general, are kind of awesome. Their stat growths are probably some of the best in terms of human classes. So, yeah, Marche's gonna be a... Uh, what is it? He's going to be a blue mage for a while. I might switch him over to Thief or Ninja at some point, though. Just for some uh, extra skills. But for now, no. He's got to be sticking with blue mage for a while. Actually, I might switch him over once he can uh, get learning mastered. That's going to take a while, though. Also, yeah, since they're monsters, they don't have anything to steal. So let's not worry about that. Also, yeah, even though you can steal abilities in this game, you cannot steal blue magic, unfortunately. The only way to learn blue magic is to get hit by it. Also, your name is Gelato. That's kind of adorable. Are you gonna do anything? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, yeah, we should probably get everyone away from him, or just charge him and try to get take him down really quickly. Actually, yeah, that might be the better idea. I'm gonna ignore the monsters for now. I'm just gonna charge the back line. Oops. Wrong button. Lisa, you don't really need to do anything. Here, just uh, cast Protect on people. Because, yeah, I just want you to get experience.
Shell might actually have been better here, but I don't know. I don't have a weapon that can teach Shell. Come on, Marche. Darn it, no. Stop going after the back line. I know they're frail. But yeah, this is also the reason why Beastmaster is really good if you're trying to learn Blue Mage skills. They can actually take control of monsters for a turn. So you can just have them go all go after your Blue Mage to teach them certain skills. No, not him! Wrong target! Alright. Anyways, everyone, keep going forward. I don't know why I didn't have you cast magic. Here, uh, go back here and just smack him in the back. I'm not gonna go out of my way to make battles last way longer than I have to, just to learn some blue magic, but if it happens, it happens. Plus, all monsters can eventually be found in random encounters. There are only two monsters I think that can go extinct, quote unquote, but we'll run to, into them eventually. Actually, wait, no, don't do that. I want you to keep going forward to uh, face the mage. Go over here first. And then we're gonna face our back to it. Cause yeah, I wanted to just hit me. Can I hit you from here? I might hit my own unit from here actually, cause friendly fire is a thing. Usually archers know how to arch their shots, so that's not really a problem. Gunners on the other hand, they don't care. They Their bullets will go straight. There is nothing you can do about it. If there is an ally in the way, oh god lag. If there is an ally in the way, they will get hit. Ooh, nice. Yeah, he's a, he might be super powerful, but he's still a mage. Uh, does anyone need to be healed at the moment? Not... Oh, wait, no, you need to be healed. Never mind. But yeah, mages are still super frail and super squishy. Although sages, uh, new moose sages are actually relatively durable, surprisingly. It's also due to the fact that they can equip shields. Sage is usually the best uh, job to go with them, but I want to try out something different. Honestly, if I can get myself, like, some good monsters hunted and captured, I might go after Morpher instead for him. Morphers are basically, they're kind of like blue mages, but they actually turn into the monster to use their attacks. But they're also really annoying to raise, so probably not going to bother with them. Also, yeah, I don't think these things can be attacked by with magic, can they? Oh no, they can! I'm not going to yet, because I want to take care of all the enemies first to get the experience, but... We could go back there and just hit them both with a single magic... Oh wait, no, no, I think they get healed by magic. I didn't see if there was a plus sign there or not. No, not her, not her! Oh god, yep. There she goes. Probably shouldn't have put her up so far up. Well, whatever. Well, we lost our healer. That's fine. We can take care of everyone else without her. Alright, this guy's almost dead. Uh, another good hit should be enough to finish him off. How low on our HP are you? Will this work? This will... Okay, it might finish him off. Oh, nope, not quite. We rolled low. Anyways, take a look at my nice, vulnerable back. Actually, if we really want to manipulate the AI, we might just, you know, take off Marche's armor off. I think they always prioritize who has lowest armor. Yeah, I might just finish this guy off. I don't think he has any blue magic he can teach us. Hi, Gelato. You have one HP, by the way. Are you just gonna retreat and use more potions? No, so, wait, what are you doing? Oh, wait, does he have a... an ice robe equipped? That might heal him. He does. Okay, so yeah, Ice Magic's gonna heal him. Darn it. Oh, I really wish I had Steel Armor right now. Steel 
Steel armor would be awesome just because- actually, no, move up a bit. Steel armor would have been awesome just because I could steal that robe right off him. But nope, we can't. Yeah, that'll be healed for 17, not take 17 damage. Okay. Nope, that missed. So yeah, we have to finish those things off with physical attacks. Turn around, hit Marche. No, fine. All right, uh, here, you know what? Just finish off the Armin. Sorry, finish off Leomol. Leomol? Yeah, some of the randomly generated names in this game are just weird. You know what? Mumplock, run away. Just run away. I am determined to make this work. He'll hit me with it eventually. Also, yeah, let's just finish this guy off so he can't uh, keep throwing spells at us. And then we'll probably try to finish off the orbs next turn. Well, one of the orbs next turn. How did you miss? Seriously? You attacked him from the side, from above. Alright, fine. This might hurt. Nope, he's just gonna keep healing himself. Maybe we should have come on a day when ice spells were forbidden. Actually, no, he's a boss, so he can't get arrested anyways. So yeah, that's kind of the, one of the problems with, uh, what is it, with laws. They don't always apply to bosses. They'll do them anyways because they can't get arrested. Normal mooks tend not to do that. Also, yeah, if the person's the last one standing, they can't get arrested on their team. On our team, though, they can still be arrested because... I guess that just comes with the territory of being the protagonist. I hate you. Fine, we'll finish you off. Well, that connected. I just wanted to learn some blue magic. You know what? No, we're doing this. Also, yeah, this guy just refuses to die. Let's, uh, start taking out the orbs, then. I still think it's- also, yes, you do get JP for breaking things. I do still think it's funny that we're doing this just to, you know, keep him from blocking traffic. No other reason. Anyways, this should finish him off if it hits. Actually, no, it's not quite enough to finish him off, but it'll come close. And I have enough units around here to basically do it for me. He literally lived through with, like, one HP in, like, two turns ago. Ooh, this might actually be bad. Or not, it missed. Here, wait there for now. Move away. Alright, so Marche is the only target in the area now. You literally- why didn't you attack from the back? You literally can't hit anyone else. Don't miss. You actually do have to be hit by the attack, by the way. We did it! We learned our first blue magic spell. Awesome, so now we can use that whenever we want. There are some really good magic spells that you can learn from monsters. That one is not one of them, but hey, spell's a spell. Anyways, let's get rid of this guy. He's becoming really annoying and I hate him. Also, yeah, we can finish off that monster now. Alright, Marche, show him what you've got. So, yep, now we have the ability to use Poison Claw. I think this scales off our weapon attack. Nice. Actually, I probably should have given it to Mont Blanc. He kind of took one for the team. Actually, he took several for the team. Actually, who's going next? 
Okay, Chia's going next. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna wait before destroying this orb. Because I want to finish this guy off for all the chasing he made me do. There, finally. Alright, now all we need to do is break that last orb. Yeah, just wait in the corner for now. It's fine. That's not gonna be enough, unfortunately. Right, I forgot. Your rods do magic damage. Never mind. I really should pay attention if there's a plus sign or not. Also, yeah, since they don't move, you're pretty much guaranteed to hit them. I would have laughed if that had missed. But, we cleared the pass for everyone. Yeah, honestly, maybe you should have just done it somewhere else. Because, yeah, his experiment itself was fine. It's just that he did it in a really bad spot. Nice. Ooh, okay, so Mont Blanc can uh, equip a new knife now. Uh, I was kind of hoping we'd get some, get some new recruits from that. Okay. Anyways, any new missions pop up? No, just the uh, story mission. Okay. Here, before we do that, let's uh, shuffle around our weapons a bit. So, do we have any other knives on us that you can equip? Nope, let's buy some. So, it will be awesome to have him learn either steel weapon or steel armor. Uh, where are the knives? Here we go. Steel gill, nope. Shield, nope. Accessory. Okay, we don't have steel weapon yet. I guess we'll just have him start learning steel shield then. We do have some more, uh, what is it? Some more money to grab some better armor too. I never equipped that iron armor, did I? Here, let's grab a survival vest for now. Okay, that should work. Let's get everyone equipped, and then maybe we'll, uh... I was gonna try to uh, squeeze in one more mission today, but I think it might take too long. And let's do one anyways. Alright, so... That reminds me, I can upgrade your bow. You, let's equip a new knife. You're fine. Actually, wait. No, we can't equip both at the same time, but we'll have it equipped anyways. There we go. It'll give him better armor. Alright, is there anyone else who can use an equipment upgrade? I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. But yeah, let's do one more mission then. I w Actually, I would do one more mission if you would move. Please move. Are you serious? Okay, he's just planted himself there. Get out of the way, Rangers. I want to get there to do the mission. This is going to be the last turn anyways. There they go. Wow, I've never seen them just stick around like that before. Usually they like to move after a while. Alright, before we do this, let's do a quick treasure hunt. Can we get anything good? Red boots. Okay, equipment's equipment. Uh, yeah, you should probably have all the equipment you can get. You're kind of frail right now. Okay. Let's go. So now we can steal shields if we want to. Alright, time to hunt down some criminals for, according to the mission thing, dining and dashing. Also, where are the laws right now? Poison. Okay, so Marche's new skill is useless here. That's fine. Also, yeah, Oaken's also really tanky because he spent so much time as a soldier. Well, a couple of levels as a soldier. Yeah, they literally are getting, we're trying to hunt them down for dining and dashing. They take that very seriously here. Anyways, to win this one, all we need to do is target the boss. We can technically ignore the other four, or three. Here, actually, while you're here, let's get everyone protected up. Also, yeah, since there are no monsters here, Marche can't learn anything new. Actually, honestly, if that happens, we should probably just unequip uh, learning and just put something else on instead. But I'm lazy, and I kind of forgot. <laughs> Mostly the second thing. 
Also, I kind of want to get my archer up to the higher ground, just so that we won't be... Oh, that's protect. Just so that we can uh, hit things from above. I don't think it actually does any more damage, but it does prevent us from basically whiffing our attacks because it hits some, uh, something in the way. Basically, then we won't have to deal with obstacles while we're up there. Also, this is gonna hurt. This is fine. Fine, you want playing like that? We'll play like that. Because now it's not against the law anymore for me to do this. Oh god, that's really low accuracy because we're right next to him. That's fine. Heh. <laughs> so glad that's not against the law anymore. Anyways, yeah, I want to get you up here. Actually, wait, can I still hit you from up here? No. You know what? Go up there anyways. Actually, while you're up there, instead just boost yourself. So that's going to make his next attack hurt a lot more. Boost is actually a really good skill for archers. In fact, it's so good that it kind of works really well in other jobs too. Anyways, Marche can't poison anything, so he's just going to hit things really hard. Also, these guys do have- wait, do you have a shield equipped? You do, but it's really- wait, yeah, it's, uh, just a common shield. Never mind. If we see ever- if we ever see, like, a rare shield, I might try to steal it. For now, though, we'll just take you out. Because stealing shields is fun. And profitable. Stealing in general is fun and profitable in this game. It would be awesome if we had a way to put people to sleep though, but right now, it's fine. There is actually a blue mage skill that puts everyone to sleep. Well, attempts to put everyone to sleep. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Like, including your own allies. It's kind of hilarious. And extremely good, actually, if you can just equip your uh, allies with something that negates sleep. Here, you took quite a bit of damage. Let's get you healed up. Also, yeah, whenever a unit is boosted, they're just eternally squatting. Maybe that's what gives you all the power for your next arrow. Oh, they are in a perfect position for a good uh, Thundara. And I'm going to do that right now. Never put your units right next to each other like this. Because then people can do this. Also, if we had someone who could use spears, they can actually pierce two enemies at a time. Alright, who is the highest priority target right now? Probably the Black Mage. Actually, no, definitely the Black Mage. He does way too much damage. Let's try to get rid of him as soon as possible. I think he's also level 7, so it might take a little while. But then again, we're like in our 5s now, I think, for the most part. Oh no, my MP. What am I ever gonna do? I don't think anyone's damaged, but I kind of just might get this out for the experience. Alright, let's try to finish off that black mage. Or we could finish off the white mage. Actually, yeah, maybe we should have taken out the healer first. Whatever. Oh, not quite enough damage yet. Almost. One more hit should be enough. You can't reach him, can you? Wait. Wait. Actually, how much damage is it going to- Ah, not enough. Never mind. Alright, in that case, do something else. I was kind of hoping that would be enough to finish him off.
Plump Blanc, however, can finish him off. Hi there. Goodbye. Actually, that would have been, that ends the battle, doesn't it? Whoops. Kind of wanted to keep going just to get more experience from the other guys, but eh, that works. Anyways, we caught our criminal. Well, we might have knocked him out a bit, but it's fine. He's still alive. No one dies in these battles. Also, we got a flower vase out of that, and a blaze robe. Ooh, actually, the blaze robe might actually be really good. Oh, we got ourselves a new member. It's another blue mage. Alright, welcome to the team, then. You're gonna be basically the person we send out on dispatch missions. Alright, are there any good uh, missions at the moment? Oh, more wanted missions. Nice. Here, I'm just gonna grab these for now. I'm not gonna do them right away, though. Uh, oh, we need a fence for this one. Okay, I'm not gonna send out my one beer on this yet. Anyways, with that, I think I'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, I think we're gonna move on with the main story. So yeah, I think the structure is just gonna be we're gonna try to alternate main story missions with an episode or two of side missions. At least for now. So, till next time.